Hi, my name is Chris Belland. I'm the Program and Outreach Manager for Veterans Relations here at Historic Fort Snelling. And what I have in front of me on the table are examples, reproductions and originals uh, of U.S. Army canteens and how soldiers carried water over the years. Uh, right here on the left, an example of a wooden drum canteen. Uh, they're pretty typical for the early part of the 1800s of various styles. Uh, but in the, by the 1840s, the army starting to issue uh, soldiers uh, oval-style canteens, out made out of tin rather than wood. Now this one is a, a typical version of the American Civil War uh, canteen here. It's covered in a jean-type jean material, has a leather sling, and a cork stopper now. With millions being produced after or during the American Civil War, the army is reusing old stocks but starting to uh, standardize them a little bit more adding a uh, cotton drab cover on them as well as a cotton sling. Soldiers often complained about them as when the sling would get wet and twist uh, it would essentially be like a shoot carrying a, a couple pound uh, canteen with a shoestring. Not very comfortable which prompted in part uh, for the army issuing uh, wider leather slings uh, for that same style. Now this style would remain in service uh, with the U.S. Army uh, well into the 1900s, uh, eventually being replaced by uh, an aluminum canteen in 1910. See the stopper and the body still at a similar material. And this would change only in the types of caps, uh, some stainless, aluminum, uh, versions of this canteen can be found. And this would stay in service well into the 1960s. Uh, that's when the army switched into a uh, brown, or excuse me, uh, olive drab uh, color canteen of, of similar style. Now, uh, if you like this type of material culture, uh, especially relating to the U.S. Army, I'd uh, like to uh, have you out at Historic Fort Snelling uh, to come out and see more. So, thank you.